guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make clothes for the older Beanie Babies. So I'm not talking this kind of Beanie Baby. These ones are recent Beanie Babies and the newer ones. I'm talking the older ones. Um, but what you're going to need is some old socks. A pair of scissors. And the Beanie Babies you want to make the clothes for. So I have Sammy. Hi! I have Valentino, but I call her Val. Hi! And I have Rory. Hi! So, let's get started. I am going to be choosing what sock I'm gonna use for each of them. So I think I wanna use the white one for Sammy, cause I think the white would really match all the tie-dye she has on. Um, I'm probably gonna have, um, hmm. Probably gonna have Val use this one. Then um, I'll have Rory use this one so i'm going to start by showing you how to make them for the sitting beanie babies so you start it's like a really similar method for the sitting and laying i'm just doing it on both of them so you can get an idea of what it's like but anyways you're going to start by taking the sock and kind of putting it on the beanie baby as if it's like a sleeping bag um, and then I'm going to kind of take, like, for each of the limbs, I'm going to, so here's the arm, so I'm going to kind of pinch it and then make a really small cut. And you do not want it to be that big because when you do it where you pinch it, it does get big. And also it'll adjust once you put it on the beanie baby. So I'm going to do that on this side now. Okay. There we go. Um, one mistake I don't want you guys to make, like I just did. Oh, actually, okay, it's optional if you want to do this or not. So if you want to have it where the heel is, then there is a built-in face mask. So that's pretty cool. But then anyways, you're going to do what you did to the arms on the feet, except for if I want to dress, I just totally cut off the toe. But I do make sure that I'm not cutting their leg and each time I make a cut I look in and make sure I'm not getting close to it okay and then once it looks like this or this I kind of take it and make a little cut where I want the dress to end and you can do this with like you can make a shirt instead and just cut up to where you want the shirt to end but then I'm going to Take it off, then the little cut I made, I'm going to totally cut on. So then there it is. I can have it this way where there's a belt and mask, or I can have it this way where there's not. So I'll show you. You can actually just like totally flip it over if you made a mistake. And like you can just do it, put it on kind of backwards, and it'll work perfectly. So, um, so yeah, here is the cute little shirt I made. So, I, you can also take the heel and go like this, then cut ear holes so it's like a little sweatshirt. So yeah, there's going to have to be a part two for this. You know, actually, we'll keep it in one because then it'll just take longer to post and I don't want to keep you guys waiting. So then, yeah, that is how you make a shirt or sweatshirt for your Beanie Babies. So I'm going to actually put it on this way so that she can have the built-in face mask. Because I think it's really cute. And I mean, during COVID, that's something that you might want, you know? So I'm going to put that on. There you go. And then it's also easy to just pull down. So like I said, the holes that you made for the arms are going to adjust. Like, look how big that turned out being. Yeah, so that's one mistake I made. Um, but I'm going to make a shirt for Sammy now. So I'm going to do what I did for Val, where I take the sock and I put it on like a sleeping bag. So, 
I'm gonna do that real quick. Okay. I have her in it. So now I'm gonna do what I did where I take the limbs and now I know to make an even smaller little hole. Like literally look how small I did that. If you are planning on doing this, do them this small. Trust me, it's for the best. Like look, it adjusted perfectly. That might just be because I have stretchy socks, but like all the socks that I've cut are like this, you know? There, now I got the other hole. Alrighty, so now that I have this, um, I think I'm just gonna cut it off so it's a little shirt. And also one thing that I like about having, doing them with the white ones is that I can totally design it and customize it however I want. So I right now am cutting off the extras. Okay, there we go. So here's what it looks like. I can take Sharpies and markers and just totally customize this for Sammy. So I am probably gonna do that, but I don't wanna keep you guys waiting for a long time. Okay, so now I'm gonna make Lori one with this sock. I know you already saw how to make it with this, but I'm gonna show you another way that you can do it. So the other way that you can do it for the laying down ones is you can take the sock and cut off the toe. Just like that. And this you don't really need, but if you want, you can cut ear holes and make it like a hat or something. <laughs> It'd actually be pretty cute. Um, but anyways, then you take it. So then you take it and you want to put it this the toe side down and you can put it on where you have like the arms in it but obviously the feet won't be because you already cut off the other side so it should look like this so then you can do what we've done for all of them where you just cut a tiny hole then take the arm or paw and put it through. Hold on, I'm getting the one through. It's kind of hard. Okay. There we go. There's the one arm. Now I'm going to make the other one. Hold on, I'm going to stretch it out a bit so her arm is not suffocating. If that's possible to happen. Okay, now, um, I need, okay, there, now I have both of them, and now what I can do is I can take whichever side it is, and if I want, I can put it over and make the bow and putty, but there's the other method for making it, and if you want, you can even give it a little tail hole, that'd be cute, so yeah. I'm so sorry this is such a long video, guys. I totally understand if you had to fast forward to the end or if you just turned it off in general. If you just turned it off, though, I don't know if we would make it this far and get to hear me saying this. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Bye! Make sure to leave a thumbs up if you want more videos with Sammy, Val, and Rory. Have a floofy day!